Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you a family recipe for Abarot Salona. In English or in America, you probably heard it as called uh, paprika bacon. So join me now and see how easy it is to make this wonderful snack. Well, here we have our pork belly. It's just a raw, unsmoked, uncured belly. Uh, this came from a Berkshire pig. Uh, one of the top breeds in the world and um, I, I would say my second favorite uh, breed second to Mangalitsa of course uh, so what we'll do is we'll just get into a nice pot for braising then I will add about one whole head of garlic cleaned about a teaspoon and a half of peppercorns and one onion We'll then top it with water and the water all you want to do is have enough that will cover the belly by maybe a half an inch or so. We're then going to turn it on a high heat and bring it to a simmer. When it gets to the simmer we will then reduce the um, temperature to low and let it simmer and braise for about two hours. Now the abarle is coming to a simmer or the liquid in which we're braising this in. I then will add the salt, um, probably about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. The reason I wait for the salt or wait for the water to simmer is it comes to the temperature faster than if I salted the water at the beginning. So now that we have the lid on it and it's starting to bubble a little more, I will then turn it down to low and then allow it to braise for two hours. Well, now that we took the pork belly out of the abarli, we are now going to season it. And it's only been out of the liquid for maybe five minutes or so. You still wanna work while it's hot. The first thing I like to do is smear garlic puree on it. Get us a nice generous portion on there. Now, let's get a little more over here. Now that we got that, I'm going to do one with a sweet paprika and one with a spicy paprika. So I will begin coating the top with it. Like so. Pressing down a bit on it. Now what I like to do too, is I'll sprinkle a little bit onto the parchment paper. Then we will take our belly, put it skin side down, which is where you're um, seasoning the paprika. Now let us work onto the sweet paprika. Smells amazing with the heat and the garlic and the paprika coming up. Oh, cannot wait to eat it. So I'll lay it over like so. Next thing I like to do is I will wrap this. Just fold my hands over down, and like this. Next thing I will do is I will take a couple dishes, like so, and I will 
lay them skin side down or the seasoned paprika side down. I will place this on top of it. And what I'm gonna do is take a couple cans and put them in here to press it down. We will then put it to the refrigerator and let it go for 24 hours. Well, here we have our bacon after resting for 24 hours under the weights and we're ready to open and slice. And remember one of these was seasoned with the spicy paprika and the other was seasoned with a sweet paprika. We're gonna slice into the spicy one first. So the end there is just how the belly was, was cut. So I'll cut that little bit off just to kind of make it a little nicer looking. And then nice thin slices. Now it is cooked all the way through. You'll see this lighter color, this pink, because of the gentle cooking process. It's not gonna turn dark like beef does. It gets really gray um, once cooked so heavily. It's very tender. Lots of garlic and paprika flavor. This is what we're looking for. Well, here you have Abarot Salona. As you can see, it's a little meatier uh, than it traditionally would be because traditionally we would make it with the yaw of the pig. I used a pork belly. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. The texture, the consistency, and the flavor is on point. I'm very happy with it. So with the vegetables that we have from our garden, we have the Hungarian wax peppers, some heirloom tomatoes, scallion, as well as uh, pickling cucumbers, uh, and some fresh bread. So... This, what we, I would do, or my family would do as a child, is we'd make what's called katana, um, a little soldier in English. Uh, we would cut the bread into smaller bite-sized pieces and then cut the piece of bacon and have it on the sandwich, kind of like a little canapé, a little bite-sized snack. Um, because of the fat, it's very rich and very heavy, you definitely would want something acidic like the heirloom tomato or the paprika or palinka, something to cut some of the richness from the fat. So uh, that's all I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me. And please feel free to insert some comments below. Subscribe. You'll see a lot more videos coming around. And uh, as always, thank you very much for joining me. Yo, Tvayet.